Hi guys, you're welcome to Allogenius Ideas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automate your Python scripts, how you can schedule them to run at specific um, intervals or at a specific time if you're on a Windows machine. This video is um, for, uh, if, if you're on a Windows machine, I have another video on the channel where you can learn how to do this for Linux, but for this particular video, I'm on Windows machine. So I have a folder on my um, laptop then this is the folder over here, but I've opened the folder in VS Code. So let's create a play script, a script that is going to be generating um, log, um, log information. For example, I can come here, let me create a new file. I can call this my log generator.py. No, no, it should be .py. Exactly. So, Okay, now the next thing I want to do, create the um, process to generate the log. So let me import random. So after importing random, another thing I want to import is, um, no, I can say from date time, import date time. Okay, so we can be able to see the timestamp of the log being generated. So let me create a function, def generate log okay so for this function it will generate a random number so run or you can say num equal to random dot rand int so it will generate a random integer and this integer is going to be from 1 to 100 okay so after doing that the next thing i want to do is to generate the current timestamp so i can just say ts which is the current timestamp i can say equal to date time dot now um don't forget then i want to format it so str um f time then i'm going to come in with the way i want the time to be formatted so i can say um percentage d th um of percentage b which will be for the month then percentage year then after that, I'm going to leave a space. Then I'll say, you no know, percentage, the hour, then percentage, the minutes, then percentage again, the seconds. So basically, what I'm going to be having is something like um. Today is um, 25th of August when I'm recording this video. So this is going to be giving me 25th of the month, which is August. Then comma the year 20 um 24 whenever you are running your, your script so another thing i can do is to actually put a pipe here so it will be, it's going to be serving as a demarcation between the dates and the time all right so that is it then the log message now let me say the msg which is the log message equal to informatic string then i can say bring in the timestamp which is the ts then i can do something like the newly generated python number is now the random number i generated which is num okay num now one thing you have to do is that you have to add a new line so that when it is generating um the files it will be generating everything like it will just transfer control to the next line. So after that, I will do with um, open. Then I will do something like um, debug dot txt, which is the debug file. And I'm going to be opening this in append mode. Append. So every time it generates a log, it will not delete what is there initially. It will just append to what is existing. Then I'm going to be opening it as file. Then I'm going to be saying file dot writes. So I want to write to the file, and what I want to write is just msg, and that is all for my Python script that I want to automate. Then just generate log. All right. So this is the function definition, and then we have the function call. So save this, and um, if I want to run this program just without the scheduler, if I just come here and I run this. Um, you see, as soon as I run it, 
it gives me this uh, log file. You can see 25th of August 2024, the pipe, then the current time. So this is the current time. So you can see the newly generated number is 16. If I should run this script again, I run it again, it will append more information to it. You can see also in 25th of August 2024, you can see that it is the same minutes but different seconds. And if I should come to check the newly generated number, you can see it's another number entirely. So this script is working. So every time we execute this particular script, it appends another data to this particular um this uh, log file. So now how can we automate this? How can we schedule this to be running on at intervals or whatsoever? So this is where the Windows task scheduler comes in. Okay, the Windows task scheduler. So but before we open the Windows task scheduler, one thing we, we need to like pick up one or two information that we are going to be needing for the scheduler so we won't have to come back here. The first thing that will happen is that um, this particular we need the path to this particular directory so um, open revealing file explorer so this particular path over here we're going to be needing it so copy then um, let me close it back i need to open notepad so this is my notepad over here so after this the next one that we're going to be needing is the path to the python executable so two ways you can get it from vs code already because um, i'm running this particular file over here it is giving me the path to the executable another way you can get the executable is by coming here where python it will show you where python is installed on your laptop on your device you can see that well, what i have over here is different from what i have over here this is app data slash local slash programs slash python this one is giving me depending on how python is installed on your machine but trust me both of them will work just fine both of them will work just fine but i'm going to be using this one in vs code over here so let me just copy this one anyone you choose to use amongst the two works just fine so copy then come to this one and paste it so then another thing we are going to be needing is the name of the file so you can see that the name of the file is um, log generator so let me just copy the whole of this and um, come back here exactly and everything we need is in place this is this, this is everything we need so um okay we can get started come to if I come to where Python, um, just to check something, um, I think I might want to use this one, but both of them will work just fine, trust me. Just If you try using this one on your machine and it's not working, come and use this one, but I'm sure both of them should work. So let's get into it. Now I have um, all the information I need. Come to look for the task scheduler. Now this is your task scheduler. If you come to your task scheduler library, you will see every other process that I've been executing before now. You can see all the tasks that have been scheduled. So what you want to do, since this is the script you want to automate, you want to be running at intervals so that it will be generating log data for you. You can come to the task scheduler, create a new task and um, the name of the task, I can just say HID, no, let me say Python, script for log generation then you can just for the description a python script for testing automation okay for testing automation now the next thing you want to set is the triggers okay these triggers now you have to pay attention to what i'm going to be showing you here now this time that is uh, we have over here make sure you are not you are not setting it as on this time so to begin the task you can de decide to go on schedule at the logon at logon or at startup or at on ideally on, on idu on an event or whatsoever you can also do a task creation or modification but i'll just go on schedule now you might want to run yours daily weekly monthly or whatsoever just choose it as um as, as uh, required another thing you want to do is to come to um, you can check your current time currently it is 751 on my end so let me just set this to 754 the reason you have to set this to 754 or a time in the future make sure this is a time in the future as at the time you are scheduling your program if not it will not work 
make sure this is a time in the future so another thing you want to do is to repeat the task maybe every one hour but i'm going to be doing every five minutes okay every five minutes so um for a duration of one day stop our running task um now for one reason or the other your program if you have to put um this uh, check over here so if for one reason or the other your program should run into an infinite loop it can crash your device so make sure you tick this one so after doing that i think um, everything is good to go with this make sure this is set to a time in the future please make sure this is, is set to a time in the future then you then you come to actions now what action do you want to execute come to new i want to start a program basically i want to start the python program that will execute the um that will execute the script for me so it is asking for the python executable the program or the script so this is a valid executable okay and the one in vs code is also a valid executable anyone you you use is going to work just fine so come to this place and um, this is the script over here this is the script so come here now the name of the file is what you are going to be adding as argument over here the name of the file and if you come here this is the name of the file then come here and um, paste it then starting this is where you will bring in the this part over here the parts to the file so that is what you will put here okay and um, you are good to go and you are good to go so if you come under conditions I don't think you can just leave this once for now but you can check the settings just set them as as required as needed okay so um yeah triggers everything is fine 754 it's already 754 here it's already 754 here so just to be on the safe side let me set it to 755 make sure this is a date in the future if you don't put it as a date in the future you are going to be having issues with this task or you may be having issues so you can see um testing the python script this is the one that um uh, i just created this is the one i just created this is the one that i've been running currently on my device so um okay i think this is the one i just created because the next run time is 7:55 7:55 so if i should come here and wait a bit just as soon as it gets to 755 it is going to execute the first um, iteration so I'll just fast forward the video to the point where it becomes 755 so that okay I think it's 755 already 755 already and um, the 8 seconds so I think you might have run you can see 755 okay you can see 755 and so 43 now for the next iteration because um you know that the script automatically creates this debug file so let me delete this debug file now i'll delete this debug file so that when next it runs it it can't find the script it will create it automatically then log the data so let me delete this move to recycle bin so i'm left with this so that the next time it runs which is at um eight um, o'clock it is going to be creating the script then it will log the data so i'll just leave this then fast forward to to the time and another thing is that for this particular script now um if you w just want to run it and it, it has not gotten to the time when it is supposed to run you can manually run it here with this button over here so and you can also disable or enable it as needed so if i click on this for example click on it again you see i clicked on it twice if i should come to log generator the first time i clicked on it it couldn't find a debug file so it will just open this you can see 756 11 okay 756 11 so i can just delete this for now so that when next it will be running it will create the debug file then it will log it again so what i'll do is that i'll just fast forward so that um, we can get to the point where it is eight o'clock so we'll verify that it is working fine so it is eight o'clock already and um, it is eight o'clock already if i should refresh you can see that the next run time is 805 meaning that i think it has um, 
around now because 8 o'clock so log generation you can see the debug the txt and you can see 8 o'clock the 8 seconds okay so you can see everything is working just um, as needed so that is that is that about um, task scheduling on windows and how you can automate your python scripts using the task scheduler on windows this is very very useful comes in handy especially in back on back-end development so um thank you very much for watching don't forget to like the youtube video and to subscribe to the channel um if you like um videos like this about python and django development so we have so many useful materials on the channel you can just check them out and we have links in the description below and don't forget to follow us on social media to get um real-time updates about um, um content and all that so thank you very much i'll see you in the next tutorial Bye for now.